بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ما بیوٹیفل ویورز ای ہوپ یو ان دا بیسٹ آف ہیلتھ اینڈ ایمان می یو لس پن تلا گرانٹ یو دا ہائیسٹ جنت الفردوس آمین ٹو ڈیز ریسیپی دا ایم گوئنگ ٹو بیک از ون آف مائی موسٹ فیورٹ ریسیپی اینڈ ایم شور دیٹ ونس یو ٹرائی ایٹ آؤٹ یو آلسو بیکم یور فیورٹ اٹس پالک پنیر سو لیٹس ہیو لک ایٹ دا انگریڈینٹس ہیئر وی ہیو گوٹ ہیئر اسپینچ پالک which is one of the most healthiest vegetables, out of all vegetables. We've got some chopped onions, some paneer, paneer cottage cheese. We've got some tomatoes here that we are going to be chopping. I've got the spices here. So we have here is haldi. We've got a little bit of chili powder. We've got some basar, garam masala, some chia seeds. We've got some paprika. We've got some chilies in the middle. Here we have some ginger and garlic that I'm going to be crushing. And then we've got some coriander. So this is all our ingredients. So one of the very first things we're going to do is get yourself a pot and add some water into it. And we're going to make this water, make it nice and warm. And then we're going to put in the pollock in here and let it soak for a few minutes. It's called like blanching here. Yeah? This is so that the garlic becomes soft and stays nice and green. So what I'm going to do now is the water is gone nice and warm. So I'm going to add the garlic, the spinach, into to the hot, warm water. And you can see here, I'm going to leave it here for like a few minutes before I take it out. So you can see now, the spinach has been put in the hot water for about five minutes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it straight out, sieve it out. Uh, so I've sieved it out. After sieving it out straight away, I'm going to put it inside some really, really cold water that I've already prepared. And they say that, this is so that the colour doesn't come, the nice green colour of the spinach doesn't come off and it gives the spinach a bit of a shock. So you can see now here it's in the cold water. After a few minutes I'm going to take it out and I'm going to blend the spinach and then it will be ready to use later. So you can see that our spinach is ready. It's nicely grinded. So, mashallah, you can see that our spinach is ready to be used. It's nicely grinded. Mashallah, it looks very zabadast, I have to say. Lovely green colour. Now, let's get started on the andi. So, we started off by getting our karai ready. I've added some olive oil in it and I've added the onions in it. And I'm going to let the onions cook very nicely until they get golden brown before I add in the ginger and the garlic. So you can see, mashallah, now that the onions have got nice golden brown. What we're going to add is the ginger and the garlic. Can't forget the ginger and the garlic, can we? It goes into almost every single thing, yeah. <coughs> give it a good stir, give it a good mix. And let's get let this get hooked properly before we add the tomatoes and the spices. So now I'm going to be adding in the tomatoes, the fresh washed tomatoes. At the same time, I'm going to also be adding in the spices. You can see here these are all the spices. All of the spices are added in. And now I'm going to give it a good mix. So as you can see, I've given the tomatoes and the spices a good mix. And I'm going to let this cook. So whilst it's cooking, what I want to discuss is some of the benefits of spinach, balak, balak if I there. So spinach is one of the top green leafy vegetables. <coughs> it's packed with like, loads and loads of benefits. Uh, it's regarded as actually a superfood, or some people call it a power, powerhouse, because it's so full of benefits, like it consists of like, 
folic acid, vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin K. It's very high in iron, minerals. So what you do with spinach is that if you have it once in a while, you just have it once, you won't reap that benefit. So you've got to be consistent, have like spinach regularly. And there's so many different types of ways you can have it. So much of one of the good ways is if you want to add healthy spinach into your diet, has it have it with balak paneer. So try and make, make it a habit to have it spinach in your diet. Again, it's good for your eyes because it strengthens your muscles. It's good for your skin because, uh, again, it has some collagen in it, boosts your, you know, your skin production. So it makes it really like looking very like nice, like not, not sagging. <coughs> um, also, I can say it's also good for your digestive system. It's very good for your digestive system. It's good for your bones. It makes your bones very strong, and that is because it contains vitamin K, which helps your bones to become stronger. So, mashallah, you can see the tarka is done, almost done. Yes. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to add some kasuri meth into it. And I'm also going to add in some yogurt. I mean, this makes the gravy a little bit more really nice here. Okay, just about two tablespoons. And let's give that a good mix. So now it's time to put in the palak. So let's add the palak. Mashallah, it's so lovely. And I'm going to give that a good mix. So just add it in the palak. I'm going to give it a good mix. And I'm going to get this palak get cooked so that it's not raw at all. As you can see, it's bubbling away. So once it gets proper mixed in, copper cooked. And the next step now we're going to be doing is, I've taken a frying pan out here. And we're going to roast the paneer, the cottage cheese. So I'm roasting here. I'm roasting the cottage cheese here. I've added some olive oil into the pan. And I'm just waiting to make the cheese a little bit crunchy, a bit red. And then I'm going to be adding that into the, into the spinach curry. see here the spinach is nicely cooked it's going cooked I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter into it and again for the extra texture that makes it more tasty sizzling away okay once it's done I'm going to be adding that into the garlic curry so you can see now that the cottage cheese the paneer is roasted mashallah very beautifully you can roast it according to how you like. If you want it less, really light, you can have it light. If you want it more, you can. it's up to you. So like, excuse the background, sorry, it's just my son, he's giggling. Okay, and let's, then I'll add it into the palak. Add the paneer into the palak and I'm going to give it this a good mix. And you can see that, mashallah. The look paneer is coming out very beautifully. So I'm going to let this again mix in very nicely to get that. Same time here, I'm going to add a little bit of coriander. Half of it, I use half of it to garnish and I'm going to use the rest. So 
so this is with this got this coriander will get cooked with the paneer and the garlic mixed this is for the smell That's it now. Our palak paneer is mashallah almost ready. And mashallah have said this, the <coughs> delicious aroma of it is so beautiful. Let's keep the kashpo of the palak paneer. It's making my mouth water. It's mouth watering. So mashallah so, beauty, so beautiful. It's about dust. Okay, let's put the lid on for a few minutes before we switch off the hob and ready to serve. So beautiful viewers, this is our final look of our amazing palak paneer curry. So mashallah, it looks beautiful, smells delish, lovely, absolutely delicious. We can have it alongside with some rotis. You can have it also with white boiled rice. This is our dessert. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, share with friends, family. Jazakallah khair for watching. Don't forget to comment below if you like this if you like this recipe and if you want me to do make more spinach recipes, comment below. Assalamu alaikum.